day. Welcome to King Wars Everything. Today's question is, does anybody still collect DVDs? See, I got I got a small collection. Here's the CDs. You can see the CDs are uh, a mite bit more than that. DVDs, not so much. I got mostly digital on these, but there are some, uh, like, recent that I got, like the Lord of the Rings, uh, some of the, the Simpsons, some other, a bunch of other fun ones. And you see here, these ones right here are the uh, HD DVDs. I mean, it's trying to collect. There's not many of those. But uh, quite a nice little selection of DVDs. Probably maybe 150, 200. I know people that have thousands of DVDs. But for me, uh, this is all I have. I really don't collect them that much. And guess what happened? Guess what happened? Oh, I started buying DVDs. So I guess what I like about DVDs, nice size, small. A lot of nice art, easy to collect for, and I'm going to kind of show you just a few of my favorite ones. And I just kind of just ran and picked it. These are not my favorite favorite. They may be, or they may not be. Uh, I just kind of ran down the aisle and picked out what I thought for me. I enjoy. I, I don't. You'll see. I like comedy. So we got Happy Gilmore. Oh, Get a Life. If you ever seen Chris Elliott, absolutely brilliant. This went on, I think, just a couple seasons, and it didn't last very long, but brilliant. And of course, Dumb and Dumber. And Caddyshack, Chicken Run, and here's, I finally got this on DVD. I've got the just a digital copy, and you see, never been opened. I get all these at Goodwill, or most of them. I used to buy some, you know, online and on Amazon and whatever. Uh, Strange Brew, my, I would say, of all movies, my favorite. Rick Moranis, Dave Thomas. Greg the Bunny, uh, this was on uh, Fox, when Fox was still kind of early and still good. Brilliant uh, comedy. Johnny English, see, I like uh, uh, Rowan. And another one of my absolute favorite, Mr. Bean's Holiday. I don't watch too many movies uh, more than once. And this one, I'm going to say I've probably seen about 30 to 500 times, somewhere around there. Just a fantastic movie. I like it because he doesn't talk. And, of course, you got some Snoopies. you got the Peanuts classics. And, of course, got to have the Futurama. I got all the Futuramas. I just grabbed a couple of the box sets. And, of course, another some other movies. Uh, after they canceled, they made some movies. But, uh, you know, I was, I've been thinking about it. Should I continue collecting DVDs? Because, like I said, I, I, every now and then I'll pick out one. I'll find one somewhere. And I'll pick it up. I think that's a good way to go. Uh, the problem is I just do not have time to watch all the DVDs. I just There's so much so much to watch a little time. And I may watch a movie like once, once a month. Maybe once a month. And I think that's good. But like I said, I still like to look at the artwork on these. I think that's kind of fun because, you know, they, they put a lot of effort into this movie. And then, you know, the artwork and the all the little liners and things like that. Uh, a lot of the newer movies, maybe not so much like the Blu-rays. I think mostly it's just the cover and that's it. And some of these have, you know, some nice liners and things like this guy's got a little thing. I'm not sure. But uh, just kind of let me know what you think. Do you still collect DVDs? Because, I know, like I said, I know people that have thousands and thousands of DVDs. and uh, I got that way with, um, audio CDs because, you know, you can jam one in and listen to it in the car. You really can't listen to a movie in the car. You almost have to set, I'm going to sit down for an hour and 20 minutes, hour and 40 minutes and watch the movie. You just can't watch like five minutes here, five minutes there, where audio CD you can. And I don't know. I think I'm just want to go start collecting again. I guess that's what I'm trying to say here. But I don't want to get it out of control where I got to, I got to get them all. I just want ones that I think are kind of interesting, you know, or ones that I'm going to watch. But uh, like the Mr. Beans and things like that. Because every now and then, especially in the winter, you know, it's snowing. got the fireplace going in the castle. You want to pull out a movie and, and just watch it. And like I said, there are movies that I've seen many, 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 many times. Like this one. I don't know. I just, this makes me, it just cracks me up every time I see this. Just brilliant. So anyway, let me know. Put down in the comments. Uh, how many, how many DVDs you have and if you still collect them or if you kind of just went all digital. I've got thousands and thousands of digital digital um, movies on a big, huge hard disk array. And I kind of think, I, I remember at one time I calculated it out. I dumped it out to Excel and it, it would take like 160 years to watch them all, to watch it back to back. And I think, oh, I don't know, I don't think I'm going to get to watch those. You know, I am at 860, oh, 863 this year. But even then, that's a lot of movies to watch. So anyway, let me know. Put it in the comments. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the video. That's you guys. Have a great day.